At the bottom, write your name, your class code, and circle with your table color. When you see a rainbow in the sky, it's actually sunlight reflecting through raindrops or drops of moisture up in the sky. And it creates these very bright colors that we call hues. Hues are pure colors. These are also the colors we see on the color wheel. To practice making a hue, choose a color, any color and use medium pressure to neatly color in your spot. That means we're not pressing too hard, we're not pressing too lightly, we're somewhere in the middle. Remember to take your time, use good craftsmanship. Definitely don't scribble, you want it to be smooth. Is a tint a light or a dark color? Tint is a light color. Make a tint in two ways. One is by using very light pressure to draw. The other is by taking our hue and adding white. Make a tint by using the same color, but this time when you color, use very light pressure. Don't press down hard at all. The second way, you can still use lighter pressure, but we can make it even lighter and more of a tint by adding white. Color white right over top. You can even press a little hard with your white to get more white pigment on your paper. A shade is a dark color. You can make it by pressing hard to color or you can add black to the hue. You can try making a shade by pressing hard when you color the shape. You can also color the hue pressing hard, then add black over top. Black is a very powerful color, so you only need a little bit to start you can always add more later, but you can't take it away if you put on too much. Watercolor pencils look and feel like colored pencils, but they're actually like dried paint in pencil form. We can activate the paint by adding water. So dip your brush into clean water and paint over top of the color. Carefully outline the shape and fill that area with water. Wash your brush between each color so that you don't mix one color into another by accident. 